Hi guys, it's Debbie from What's Mama Cooking For Us. And um, I'm going to show you guys how to cut up a watermelon and uh, how to pick a watermelon. They say we should look for a spot that has like a, a, a yellowish brown patch here. I've had this one here for about three weeks because I bought it about three weeks ago and was going to do a video. But of course, I was having trouble with my camera and my editing, whatever, all that. But you should look for, I don't know what they call these, but they should be big spaces between them. And it should be heavy for its size. And hopefully you get a nice sweet one. But what I usually do is I usually take my watermelon, put it in a bag, and cut it up in there. But of course you won't be able to see me if I do that. So that way if all the juices go all over, they're going into that bag. Which, I better put this over here. So I can put the pieces in there and then I just take that bag right out. So I use a serrated knife and cut the one end off. And I don't have the strength I used to have, but I'm definitely going to eat that. <laughs> no throwing none of this away. And I make juice with the, with the rest as well. And I'm actually going to show you a video. So the best thing to do is to give it, like they say, give it feet. So you can, you know, set it down. So I'm going to cut it in half one more time. Oh, let's see if I went all the way through. Yes. Okay. And that's Justice, my doggy, and he must want some watermelon. So I didn't do a very good job on that book. So if I was going to do this up for a party or friends or just, you know, to put out on a platter, I would just cut it in half again and all right hey 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 and then just go down and make slices so like that <laughs> if you guys can see what I'm doing here and like that so then that would be you know pretty on the platter like this and let's give it a bite mmm very juicy so that's a good thing. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is just do some of it up to show you how I do it. So since I'm not making a platter, I'm going to cut that rind off. And I just cut them up into chunks. And then I use these containers, keep them in my fridge. And they usually last a good while in there if you keep them sealed up. So let me put some in here. Justice, come on, mommy's doing a video. You can't be in this video. This isn't your singing video. And then I'm going to show you another way of what you can also do. Oh, I'm having a heck of a time today. Oh, it was caught. <laughs> let me get some of this wiped up getting a lot of juice but so yes yeah, so I'm gonna cut those all up in chunks well I'll do that so I can show you simple simple and this is a seedless watermelon and it's really a seedless watermelon there's not even those little white seeds in there so there you have it so that's all ready to go in the fridge and then you have watermelon whenever you want some and i what i do is i put some in these little ones so it's like a serving and watermelon is so good for you and so um nutrition it's got so many nutrition nutrients in it and it's 82 percent water so it's it's just you know so good and healthy for us but you also can do this where you take a little knife go around the sides I'm going to show you on this little one because it's hard for me to maneuver on a bigger one. But go around the sides and cut them. Do the same thing on this side. I know you can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> and go down in there until you get to the end. Sorry, I got to do this on this side with my right hand. So it almost comes right out. 
and you can almost do it just like you would um, an avocado and then just cut <laughs> cut down the inside just like that and then go this way see that and then before they all fall out let me get you a bowl so you can see what I'm doing and go like this and okay look at that perfect I get one little tough one up here just because I didn't go through all the way but you can just see that and then all that juice you get to save and that makes your um, watermelon water that I'm going to make in another video and then you can just go ahead and cut this off little white part well actually it's a big white part so then you can serve this on the table and everyone can you know have a piece with some toothpicks out and uh yeah so let me get some of this cleaned up and I'll be right back to finish showing you okay guys so see I made up one of these one of these and this I'm going to put, of course, in one of these as well. But, you know, just to show you how to do it. And then what you can do is take some saran wrap and put it on this and store it in your refrigerator. Put it on really, really tight. If you don't feel like chopping it all up right now, which I don't. But <laughs> you probably should. But I just have trouble doing a lot of stuff at one time. But just chop it all up. And then I have the bag right here. And I just take that right out to the garbage because you don't want no bugs and flies and things so thanks for watching guys and i hope this helps you and just a little tip to you know make your life a little bit easier and thanks for watching and be blessed okay guys i figured i'd come back and show you just how much watermelon i got out of that one i call it a medium to small watermelon and um these are all in portion sizes these are for to make the um, watermelon juice I was telling you I was going to do. And I have this. And then I use this container, which is from like a Chinese restaurant. So use those. And um, yeah, take some time, prep it up. And the best part about watermelon is it's, it's so refreshing, so healthy. Um, very, you know, you know, just... I don't know, it's, it's got so much nutrients and I can't even list them all, but look them up and you'll see. Watermelon's great for you and everyone loves watermelon. Who doesn't love watermelon? So yeah, that's it. See you guys on the next one. Be blessed.